What's going on guys? Etika from the Etika World Network here and Nintendo has confirmed that a new Direct will be happening tomorrow. Now it's a bit short notice because usually when they announce these things it's not exactly planned for the next day, maybe two to five days afterwards, but we have a big one coming tomorrow. But of course let's get this out the way. They did clarify for us that there will not be any NX stuff, no mobile stuff, so we're gonna have to wait on that. But there's still a lot of things that we're looking forward to with this upcoming Direct, man. Yo, dudes, let's take a look at exactly what Nintendo Nintendo's announcement was though in detail so you can see for yourself you've probably seen it already by now but I just want to go through it on my own regard so pulling it up they announced it on Twitter about seven hours ago so it's going to be on March 3rd at 2 p.m. Pacific time which is 5 p.m. Eastern time I'm not sure exactly what that converts to in terms of the EU times or the UK time but I mean you guys can figure it out at this point now it says specifically on March 3rd at 2 p.m., updates on the Wii U and 3DS titles planned for the launch through summer 2016. So, there's some key words here we need to pay attention to, and I don't want to get too hype over this, but there's some things that you got to have your eyeball open when it comes to reading this paragraph. So, first off, they use the terminology of Wii U, 3DS, Plan for, excuse me, plan for launch through summer 2016, which makes me wonder, well, why not say all of 2016 in that regard? They specifically label the summer because more than likely we're going to get some kind of NX release in some form or fashion in December, which is considered the holiday season around that time. So they're saying specifically summer 2016 is going to be dedicated to strictly Wii U and 3DS to the point where they're not even mentioning the NX in this direct, which also makes me think that the NX is probably going to be revealed in more detail at E3 most likely, or maybe they wouldn't reveal it there. Of course, Nintendo doesn't want to pull steam away from the Wii U and the 3DS, which still have a lot to offer this year. I mean, Zelda Wii U, big title that everyone's waiting for. Um, so at the end of the day, we can't really jump to conclusions with this whole thing. As much as I would love them to reveal NX stuff, of course I understand that they wouldn't want that to hurt their other product sales. So it's all good, Nintendo. Of course now with the new Nintendo Direct, new general information, there's a lot of anticipation around that new Pokemon game. So we're going to be doing some bingo cards leading up to the Direct happening tomorrow, 5 p.m. So you, you basically know the time. I'm going to try to see if I can stream anytime from 5 to 6 hours before or maybe even 3. I'm not too sure. I've been working on a lot of stuff for the upcoming NX hype, so I'm hoping that we still have time to finish that stuff before the NX is actually revealed, which is why I'm a little bit happy that it hasn't been revealed yet, at least in terms of me. But I do want it to be revealed. I do eventually want some kind of information on it. I'm doing a video which is going to be kind of covering some stuff with the NX. But anyways, now, tomorrow, it's going to be a big event, man. Obviously, the bingo cards are going to have to be in play. And there's already people that are jumping on top of the whole bingo thing and doing it quite right, my friends. So they're talking about the Twilight Princess launch trailer, the Disney Art Academy announced. I don't really care too much about certain things in gaming it depends you know i mean i can't care about anything i'm only one person but i'm um, bravely second trailer very good guest there pokemon tournament of course more stuff coming up with that the paper mario u announcement which is basically we basically know it's coming all we're doing now is just waiting for it to be announced even though i'm not too much into certain mario titles but paper mario plus for me we also have um some of these um really caught my attention the explanation of the my nintendo program which has been revealed to us officially we still have no information about it though <clears throat> no no detailed information at least pokemon on go information sadly that falls under mobile so i'm not sure any talk about that would happen but sun and moon could definitely be referenced in the direct tomorrow a short introduction to me tomo i don't know if this guy maybe saw that they weren't talking about mobile but i mean hey we can all be hopeful i suppose we also have dragon quest release window so we did get uh, a little bit of a leak happening to us late, but earlier that dragon quest would be coming to the nx but you know we're not talking no NX right now. They, they, I think Nintendo actually backtracked and had, <laughs> and had that whole announcement of the NX being a platform for Dragon Quest Seven. They had that shit fucking revoked, so you can't see that anymore. I mean, obviously, they don't want people knowing what the NX is going to have right now because they want to keep steam with the Wii U and the 3DS. Um, you have Detective Pikachu coming to the West, hopefully. So it's taking them somewhat of a long time at least in my opinion for such a small game to announce a localization that scares me because i want to play detective pikachu and of course we have the return of metroid prime but not in the sense that we would all like we have fucker in the pussy force which is something that i don't know i'm not too critical on it now we were back then it wasn't the metroid we all wanted and loved but i mean we can get used to it i think it looks like it'll be a fun multiplayer game on the 3ds so we also have more um, final DLC for Smash. Ah! <laughs> if only. If only. <laughs> they would make all this delaying. Well, my nutsack sandwich worth it. But anyways, guys, regardless of what's going to be revealed, 
we have a new direct tomorrow in terms of stuff that i want for the direct i can't really say there's so many things in my head in terms of like information that i want to get my hands on and to be honest with you guys i'm kind of even though i'm still working on my nx segment to um talk about nx information i kind of sort of want the nx just to come through and clean out the wii u i mean the wii u has a great library obviously it's a it's a strong console amazing first party games you should definitely buy it at this point if you haven't because you're missing out on a lot but I, I don't know, man. I, I just kind of want the NX information already. We've been sitting on it. The hype's been brewing all this time. And to be honest with you, it's starting to go a little bit stale. Nintendo hasn't really done anything besides their Google um, Android OS deconfirmation uh, months ago. So, I mean, at this point now, I'm just, I'm just waiting for the NX information. But not right now. Probably during E3. So keep all that in mind. And... Yeah, we got this. We got, excuse me, we got this direct tomorrow. So let's have some fun with this whole thing. I will see you guys later on. I actually also finished prepping my Fire Emblem Fates playthrough, so I'm probably going to be doing some streams of that today as well too. So keep your eyes open for it. The stream should be going up in a matter of a couple of minutes after this video is up. But either way, guys, I will talk to you all later on. We're gonna be making our bingo cards. Maybe we'll even do it today. I feel like kind of doing a long stream in a sense. So let me know what your opinions are on this whole thing. What are you excited to see with this new Nintendo Direct tomorrow, my friends? Sun and Moon information is probably the highest on my list right now. We have to get more details. It's looking like a seventh gen. It don't look like a seventh gen. There's a new Pokemon reveal. There ain't a new Pokemon. I don't. I mean, I don't know, guys. Like that whole trailer with Pokemon Sun and Moon. There was obviously something in there that did not look like it was from sixth gen. That bird. My boy John Carlo Parmanga was covering it in all detail. Of course, I'm going to be covering it in some detail as well, too, once we get more information. The speculation is cool, but I want the info. I want something that I can build my hype off of. My hype can't be built off of nothing. I got to build it on a solid foundation of certifiable, relatable, somewhat credible evidence. So, I mean, I'll talk to you dudes later on. Take care of yourselves, and of course, as usual, please have yourself a damn good one.